The name of this video is Splitting, Joining, and Expanding Editor Windows. It's possible to expand an editor window by moving the cursor to the edge of the window until you see a double arrow. Left click and drag the window open and you can do that horizontally or vertically. You can also split an editor window into multiple editor windows. To split, place the cursor in the upper right hand corner of the editor window. There's a splitter widget that looks like a ridged thumb grip. When the cursor turns into a cross, left click and drag the cursor horizontally to create a vertical split. You can also create a horizontal split by placing the cursor in the splitter widget until a cross appears and left clicking and dragging the cursor vertically to create a horizontal split. Each window has its own header window and associated tool panel. You can click on the type button at the far left of the window header line and you can change the window's type. So I'll change this window's type to a text editor. You can join two vertical windows with the same width or two horizontal windows that have the same height. To join, you can move the cursor on one of the splitter widgets from one window to the other and make it a join window. And you have to hold the left uh, mouse button down. The large gray arrow shows the direction of the change. With the left mouse button pressed, you can drag into either of the windows to join to control the direction of the split. Here I'll join the two vertical windows into one 3D window. Notice that each panel inside the editor window also contains a thumb grip splitter widget. So you can join and split the windows you just created. In the case of a panel, you can arrange the placement of the panel within the editor window. Place the cursor on the splitter widget in the layers panel and drag to move above the render panel. Panels cannot be moved from one editor window to another editor window. You can also make any blender window full screen. To do that, click in the window to give the cursor focus, then press control down arrow, which makes that window full screen. To make it regular screen again, press control down arrow again. Control up arrow works as well, so it's a toggle. We'll make the 3D viewport full screen and then make it regular screen. We'll make the outliner window full screen and then revert back to regular size. Switching between full screen and regular size windows will make your modeling much more efficient. So you can see that the new 2.5 interface makes it very convenient for you to control the sizing and placement of your windows.